Uh, today we're gonna make, what the hell are we doing? Oh, I this. Don't know. Got like, <laughs> more strong drinks from the Common Man Cocktails crew. Someone's driving home crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Come Man Cocktails, Derek, Dan, and Ian. They're gonna make the departed for you today. The departed. The departed boy, kid. Kid. Uh, this, Stare it. <clears throat> we're gonna. We'll let Ian build it, and then I'll show you the recipe. But the breakdown is gonna be one ounce of demerara aged rum, one ounce of capari, three quarters ounce of Ravenna amaro, uh, half ounce of mezcal, and a dash of patriot bitter. Sim super simple. That's super simple. Can't possibly be a lot of alcohol. No. Um, so part of this season. Is because Let's see how much alcohol we can jam in drinks. <laughs> because yes. it's colder ding, ding, ding. in theory, um, it you, you need something to thin your blood. I guess when you're like when you're sitting by the fire, you want something that's a little yeah. more yeah. hearty. Thin blood because the fire is hot. It's yeah. Just, it just so happens that we're doing them all at once, and it's harder for us. Yeah. But it, I mean, I don't know. You're gonna have mixed emotions, Ian. It's Campari, but it's mezcal. Yeah. Uh, he won't <laughs> taste I think mezcal will ruin it. No, you're yeah. not gonna taste the mezcal in this drink. We'll find out. There's way too many other things. You're definitely gonna taste the mezcal yeah. in this. It's like a you. You don't miss that. It's gonna give it the smokiness. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Avernus. Avernus pretty strong. Yeah. I know. It's insane. So is Campari. Yeah. I know. An ounce of Campari and then in the three quarters Denver of Inverna. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you probably so will. So you pretty much are going to put all these we'll together. Make it like a ice. smoky rum. Well, Maybe, I don't know. This could be interesting. So we're going to put that in. The, we're just going to stir it like you we have been. You put everything in it? All week. These are all strong all flavors, month. too. Yep. Everything's got lots mm. of strong flavors. Uh, orange twist, if you care. We're not going to do an orange twist because I don't have an orange. Well, there's no orange in this drink. Or <laughs> why there's people not an orange. Florida. Yeah, the Campari, you could probably yeah. get like some orange from the Campari or something. Campari, just because you have a garnish on a Negroni doesn't mean this has to have a garnish. Is that great? I'm trying to get you a uh, Is it a grapefruit? No, like on the picture. <laughs> just go by the picture. Uh, <clears throat> this drink was invented by Sandy de Almeida. Um, is that again? No. <laughs> submitted by John Spikes. He got this on an by Magazine. And our executive producer is Aaron Bila, who's a YouTube member. If you just click the join button, you, you too. You can be a member. Yep, and then I call out your name. And that is what, oh, you get emojis or weird shit. So uh, you get to see all the drinks ahead of time because they post them in our community yeah, channel. Like is it supposed to have like that? Yep. And now it has X-Rise. Or didn't have any before. So it was like a Sazerac and now it's like a drink. Oh, like, well, Dan, tell us what it tastes like. Oh, no. No, um, there's a big piece of ice in my face. <laughs> this, that is not going to end well. Just in case something great happens, I want to make sure it's not going to end well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're holding it like you're a fucking Viking. <laughs> <laughs> I am a fucking Viking. <laughs> Just weird. <laughs> Just call him Jorn from now on. <laughs> Mr. Ironsides, give me his <laughs> You're a luxury Viking. <laughs> <laughs> you like to be pampered while you're out on a rampage. <laughs> you're, like, you're like a Viking, but it's- I'm the guy that sits back in the tent. Yeah. It's, you know, I'm like, you guys gotta get this shit done. <laughs> and I need some gonna, snacks. I need yeah. some snacks. <laughs> and he's like- Why you're killing people. He's wearing, he's wearing synthetic furs. It tastes like a fucking furs. Negroni. Mm, it's good. It does, it tastes like a fucking Negroni. Where's your mezcal then? Oh my god. Oh, it's there. You can taste it. Uh, you know what it tastes like? <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> no, no. A Boulevardier <laughs> with a little bit. No, no. I'm, I'm working through it. Uh, just give me a second. It's, <laughs> it's the, the Campari gets you a little bit. <laughs> no, but it's got like, a, it's like Campari sprayed with brown sugar. Mm. Like you're getting brown sugar and Campari. Like that. Yeah, it's like right. And it hits you like right in the center of your mouth, so you don't know what to do with it. Yeah, like it's like right or something? In, yeah, it's, it feels like I'm getting a root canal happening. I've never had a root canal, but I imagine they've ever. It's, it's like a sweet Negroni. Yeah. Some, there is a little bit Like a brown there. sugar Negroni. Yeah. A little bit of smoke in there, maybe? A, a little uh, bit. I might be imagining that. No, that's there, but is it? it's not as bad. No, it's, it's not as bad as the Negro as the Campari is good, so. No, so it offsets in a, in a positive way. It mean, balances it is, in the Negroni favor. Mm -hmm. It is a bitter <laughs> drink. Because Campari is... Jen is, is going to love that. Punchy yeah, right in the face. Exactly. Let me, let, me, let me try this again because it might oh, surprise no. you. You drink a little yeah. bit more, it definitely gets smokier. Get smokier. I gotta drive. <laughs> <laughs> Fair? I'll probably start like when you start liking mezcal. I like that, and it's got mezcal, so you'll <laughs> like it. And it's got Campari. 
See, it's, this it's, is where we meet the middle gen. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, mm. you this already is, said it leans more towards the Campari. So yeah, that, no, um, it's, it's definitely smoky. Like I think after every, you have a few sips, it definitely it, comes it out. It is definitely vibrant with flavor. Does it like, need cherries? <laughs> no, everything needs cherries. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's got a lot of vibrant flavor to it. Not bad. Um, Not bad. If there was only one bad thing I could say, it's just that there's been so many drinks with vibrant flavors that I'm getting a little You're, bit overwhelmed. Sensory overload. Yeah, mm. but but that doesn't take away from the specific drink. It's just we've had vibrant drinks. Um, most of this is John Spice's fault, by the way. It Usually when you here. sip them, though. It's, it's good. It's, it's, it's definitely better. better. This is this is probably the yeah. most better one. Oh, yes. This is as close to a Negroni as I've had. Yes. Um, if you don't like any Campari, this will probably tear your soul out. I'm getting a little bit used to it. It still gets you right away. But you just got to keep doing it. it. Yeah. yeah. You'll be fine. You'll you'll adapt. Yeah. Perfect. It's just what humans do. We adapt and have children. Those are only two things, and this will do both for you. It's no worse than drinking like an IPA. Like no, the bitterness. It's, yeah, it's, no, it's, I'm, I'm over IPAs for sure. Yeah. It's, it's 100% worse than IPAs because IPAs come in so many varieties that you might get a good one, you might get a bad yeah. one. This is consistent. Yeah. Like, this would be like an IBU of like 70 or something like that. Like, it's, it's bitter, but it's not yeah. as bitter as mm. what you get in some of those. The, the IBU IPAs. is misleading because you can have a high IBU beer that doesn't come off as bitter because it's heavy. We need to have a, hot, a low IBU beer that tastes really bitter because it's a lighter beer. Just look at the alcohol. If it's like a, if it's like an imperial or something like that. You well, should... not even that. Just that, that like a dark okay, IPA. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Nice. Been doing this Rich. for a very long time. <laughs> been doing it for a very long time. It's only been uh, cheers. Two thousand eight. Thirteen years. <laughs> yeah. Well, more very years. long time. More very long times. Thank you, NCC seventy one. It sh you should have been seventeen. NCC. Isn't it? It's 17. 17? No, oh, NC-17, no. What the hell's... We didn't figure this out. It's a Star Trek... Is it, yeah, that looks like Serial code, code NCC-17 or 71. Oh, and maybe, you know, you might be a huge Star Trek fan. If so, uh, congratulations on your captain going into space. Um, we get that going for you. We have... Oh, subscribe. There's a link. I keep forgetting. It's called a call to action YouTube. 1701. NCC 1701. Yeah, so this is 7 1. So this may be not the original. This could be a this could be a discovery class. I right. Think that's a thing. Uh, I just want to make it sound nerdy enough that it will fit in. And maybe an imperial class. I don't know if it's any of this. I don't know what anybody's talking about that's right not now. Not a thing. I cannot watch this. Not a thing. Uh, well, that's a Prometheus. Prometheus? That's, oh. that's from Stargate. That's not from Star Trek. Uh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I, I, my nerd kid be in question. It's fine. It's yeah, that's Star Trek. Yeah. Which is a Prometheus class. Yeah, it's a I don't know what we're all talking about. Maybe a class starship. Does it starship. have two or three nacelles? We started off with mezcal <laughs> and tequila anyway. and mezcal. <laughs> and then just like heavy drink, Under heavy command, drink, heavy drink. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Pearsall? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I don't watch Star Trek. <laughs> you need to watch Star Trek! Oh, <laughs> I used to watch it when I was a kid. Oh my god. You're so stupid. I think it's Deep Space Nine. <laughs> oh, Deep Space Nine? No. Okay. Dr. Deep Space Nine. Was it anyway. I've uh, watched a movie called Deep Space. Uh, the Mission of the Stars. But so. It was on late at night. We're going <laughs> to. Yeah. <laughs> it was on Cinemax. Yeah. <laughs> we will we'll top this off. That's the only, that's the only that's place I got it. So go to Austrix.com, buy all the stuff on sale, click on sale items. It's bitters. Get your bitters. You guys need cheap. bitters. That's it the, raises your game. It raises the game. You can use them here. Instead of Pacho, you can use any of the bitters that we have. More professional. Yeah. Um, bitter cube, bitter mins. If you want to get scrappies, we've got those too. Uh, also, question of the day. You guys answer this so that we will have an answer for Lynn. But she says, question. Can you suggest some cocktails with white henny? Which I'm going to guess is Hennessy, Hennessy. which is a brandy. Cognac. Um, a cognac? Is it cognac? Yeah, cognac. it's cognac. cognac. Whatever. White, so, though? Yeah. White Henny? What's the difference? I don't think I've ever seen it. What's White Hennessy? Is it just they clear it so it's not doesn't have the color to it? Like we do with the, yeah. with the tequila? Maybe it's just racist. Yeah. We will have to look at White Henny. Maybe maybe we'll have to do a tasting of White Henny. I don't have White Henny. I don't well, I'm going to have to buy it. We have well, no. fans of cognac, 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 I think. They're just yeah, going to have to yeah. send it to us. Okay, but, but, but Lynn doesn't work at Hennessy. We'll find someone. So, Lynn, I don't have an answer for you. Yeah, I mean, it'll be here the next time I come. I, I don't have a, 
It's not white. Oh, it's not? It's brown? I don't have a good drink for Hennessy outside of uh, maybe. You can only get it overseas for some reason. Then <laughs> we don't have drinks. Oh, you can only get it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Then we probably can't know. suggest anything. So, yeah. <laughs> so even for, but the thing is, I can't even give you a good suggestion for brown Hennessy. Right. Maybe the Incredible Hulk. That's that. Yeah, you know. it's not sold in the U.S. It's well, that's the thing. It's not fun. Said drink with hypnotic. Don't don't oh, do it. Uh, Stephen will see the question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, somebody will answer you. Um, sidebar: More videos from the channel. This is a common man cocktails. In case you're new here, um, down below, bartender starter kit at awesomedrinks.com to go with those sale item bitters that you just picked up. That's it. Teaching you how to drink. 